Hi, going to do one of my um, long term use reviews again uh, to another one of my favourite tools that I've um, used a fair bit. I've used it over the last year for all sorts of things, uh, primarily uh, kayaking trips, and it's another knife. It's the Swedish uh, Light My Fire fire knife made by Mora and the Light My Fire Fire Steel people. It's a uh, lightweight fixed blade. Um, Scandi ground, very traditional Mora type knife with the added bonus of a removable fire steel which works against the flat back of the blade. Comes in some cool funky colours, this is the most normal colour I could find. Uh, not that I chose, I just ordered randomly and this is the colour that I got. Um, but of all the colours when I've looked at them, I think red and black are the most normal. The others are the fluorescent greens and oranges and pinks, which all look great. Um, just some basic stuff with the sheath. This is a 94 gram knife, so it's not a great, not a great amount of gear to wear on you. This would be a good one tool option for your ultralight backpacking. Uh, certainly would. Uh, without the sheath, it drops about 15, 20 grams, and it's about 70 grams or so. The knife on its own, which is about as heavy as your average lightweight folding knife, so. Uh, for the capabilities, uh, the weight is quite quite reasonable, I think. Um, blade, I'm just looking down at the specs. Not, I can't remember all the stuff off the top of my head, sorry. Uh, the blade, you've got a 10 centimeter long blade, sort of a clip point going down to a Scandi grind, uh, which is the, the single bevel going straight to the terminating edge. Um, and then as you get to the tip, you can see there, You've got a smoothed out secondary bevel type thing which is for getting into narrow spots, for example skinning. Um, a Scandinavian grinder is very easy to sharpen and it's a, a great woodworking grind as well. You can really carve quite easily with a Scandi. Um, the whole knife is 22.5 centimeters long. Uh, the blade is 2.5 millimeters thick, so it's one of the thinner Moras. This is actually, I think, the smallest, um, more, apart from if you get the little craft knives, this is the smallest uh, outdoor Mora knife. Um, you see there it says Mora made in Sweden, stainless steel. Uh, the stainless steel is the 12C27 Sandvik uh, steel that all the stainless, most stainless Swedish knives are made of, and it's a really good steel, holds its edge very well cuts very adeptly. It's done very well for me. Um, the best things about this knife, I've got a little list of pros and a couple of cons that I'll run through uh, that I've picked up after using this for the better part of a year. The first, which is most relevant to me, is rust resistance. Um, I've been in very highly aquatic environments uh, with this knife and it's um, not got a single spot of rust on it. And um, that's even with, without it having the mirror polish that lots of Moras have. This, this comes with a satin finish, so it doesn't have that fantastic Mora um, reflectivity that you usually get. Um, but yeah, the, the steel is very high quality and very rust resistant, and I've had it damp, and I've had it uh, sitting in the, uh, wet piles of wet clothes overnight, things like that, without realizing. And uh, it's not got a single spot of rust on it. Um, blade's very sharp. That's another pro, of course that's a pro of the knife. Um, it's been easy to sharpen as well. I haven't, um, I've sharpened it once once more on a diamond stone since I've used it. Everything else I've just uh, stropped it. Strop it when you get back from your um, your trips. That's what I've found is the best way to maintain a knife. Use it for a day, strop it for 10 minutes, you're done. Um, the, so, uh, which leads into my next pro, which is the edge retention. Um, so yeah, good for, good for holding an edge. If you're not the best sharpener in the world, um, you won't have to do it that often if you have one of these. Uh, the grip is comfortable. It's a um, over-moulded rubber thermoplastic type material. It's very light as well. Um, it's got these hollowed out areas too which probably help with that as well. Um, the blade is thoughtfully ground flat on the top which goes hand in hand with the fire steel feature. So that's another good one. Um, the sheath is really good. The sheath is your classic Mora sheath pretty much. It's got a, um, got a bit of a, I'll see if I can get in there, got a little bit of a, um, a flame detail, there we go. 
bit of a flame detail there, it's just for something extra, a bit of jazz, you know. It's got a drainage hole on the bottom. Uh, the clip's quite positive, easy to get on and off your belt, but you, once it is on there, it kind of angles up a bit, so it really does hold onto the bottom of your belt, so it's not just going to get pulled up randomly. And indeed, I got in and out of kayaks with this crashing against the side, and that's why it's lost a bit of its luster on the side. There are a few scrapes and, and dings and, and such. And uh, never came off once. Fantastic. Um, it's got a bit of a thumb ramp as well to help push the knife out. Um, so it's a really good quality sheath. Um, I don't I don't decry the lack of um, the attaching loops and things because uh, I only ever use this Mora attachment anyway. Um, it's very light. Um, so as it's as I've said, it's a good backpacking one tool. Um, providing you don't need to be cutting down a tree or anything like that, if you just want to carry one knife. For minimal weight, this is a great, great idea. I mean, you could go, you could go the um, para frame type knives, I suppose, as well, or um, you could go your really light um, Gerber folders, which only weigh about 20 grams. But if you want something with the capability to do your um, shelter making and that sort of thing, and your firecraft, then I'd say you couldn't go too far wrong with this. It'd be 100 grams of your kit, well spent. Um, and yeah, just in general, it's a good idea. Um, it's a well executed idea to a point. And uh, hopefully they revise and they might do a few different versions of this and um, take into the account a couple of little things that are wrong with it, which are very minor things, but things I'll get to nonetheless. Um, the first one being that when you've got, when you're in the situation where you probably most likely need a fire, um, whether or not it's a survival situation or not, I don't get particularly into the worst case scenario aspect of things when I do my videos. Um, but when it's cold and you want to make a fire, I found that this is quite tricky to to get out. And it's not, it's once you know the technique, of course, it's fine, I guess. But so you snap that and then you pull it up. But when you're just giving it to someone, say, oh, there's a fire still in the knife. Dickhead dirt biker. Um, living in the country, people do what they like. Oh well, um, sorry about that. There's a, um, yeah, there's definitely a knack to it. But when you give this to someone who doesn't know that, um, they'll fumble around with it for ages. They'll try and pull it directly out. So this could be a little bit easier. And I think it does swell and perhaps shrink a tiny little bit in the heat. I don't know. Some days it seems harder to get out than others, but maybe that's just the fatigue level of the end user. I'm not sure. Um, so that's the that's probably the main one. That's probably the thing I'd change if they could think of a better. If they could screw it in or something, that'd be cool. Rather than this pop off thing, screwing it'd be nice and easy with like a, a nailed metal end or something. Perhaps that'd be pretty cool. Um, the tip as well, when you are sharpening, the tip makes you have to. It makes you reassess your sharpening technique, which whether or not you should or not, it's still got essentially the same grind, but it's a very small. So you don't have that forgiving of forgivingness of being able to just lay the knife flat against the stone and push. You could try here, but it is does become a bit like sharpening a more conventional knife. And if the, one of the reasons you buy Scandies is that they're easy to sharpen, that might bother you a little bit. But I worked it out pretty quickly. And I think the only thing is, I would say this is definitely the sharpest part of my knife because I'm not particularly amazing at sharpening. I can still cut paper and things like that, but this part here will... Um, this part here will pop hairs and this part won't, that's, that's for certain. So yeah, that's the um, pros, cons, long-term use review of the Mora Light My Fire Fire Steel Knife. I'm not going to demonstrate the fire steel, it works. Take my word for it. Um, and I've said it cuts paper, so I'm sure you don't need to see me cut paper with it. Um, but yeah, my experiences reflect that this is a, um, a, an invaluable addition, especially if you're taking it somewhere where your standard carbon steel knives might get a bit of damage just from the moisture. So anything anything watery, um, river stuff particularly, or even just wet environments, um, this is the one to take, I think. Thanks for watching. See you later.